What is up guys, welcome back to another video. So this I think is gonna be like the final makeover type video that I ever do, at least while we're in this um, apartment. A couple things that I wanted to talk about before we dive right in is I actually, we unboxed this couch, we bought this couch around Christmas time, I think, because we moved in in November. It is just from a local place. So I am gonna link some dupes instead for this like ribbed kind of like chunky sweater <laughs> style of couch um, or I guess it's technically a chofa which I think I was just browsing online and saw that some of these couches like you can buy a couch with like the chase on the side where it's almost like a bed it's like basically like a twin size bed on one side that's kind of what it feels like um, and I just became obsessed with that idea so that is what we ended up finding um, like I said at a local place so anyway I'm gonna link some dupes for you guys if you're interested in this style of couch um, we are gonna do eventually a DIY on the coffee table. I don't know exactly how that's gonna happen yet. Hopefully it's in this video. If not, maybe I could do like a separate DIY video. Um, we get a new rug, we do a gallery wall, um, we change out the curtains. We really are kind of making a home even though ultimately, hopefully, we are able to actually buy a house one day. So the only sort of clips that I lost that I was gonna briefly talk about is the curtains. They're from Magic Linen. They're, yes, they're green. Um, I'll, I'll put in some clips for you guys of me like um, installing them. They're just like tie top, kind of a brownie green curtain. For whatever reason, these were kind of a challenge. This is like third time's the charm with these curtains. Initially, I wanted something really kind of like light and flowy and airy. I ended up ordering some beige ones, but there's just so much beige in here. It was just too much plain, like monotone beige. It was too much beige. I ended up returning those, finding something else on like Urban Outfitters. I returned those as well. Um, and finally, we landed on these. I think I was just hesitating because they are green. No regrets. We love them. That's the whole curtain debacle. Luckily, that was like the worst of it. I am gonna do like a proper tour at the end, so stay tuned for that. Without further ado, let's roll the clips. I don't think I showed you guys the curtains in sunlight, like in daylight, and it is around three, four o'clock in the afternoon when we do get sunlight coming through, pretty much the only time of day when the sun falls between these two apartment buildings, so um, they actually look really good. They're a nice brown green. So they're like a perfect blend between brown green. They look totally different when they have like sunlight streaming in. They get this like golden yellow tinge to them. I love them. Good morning, everyone. I honestly don't know when the last time was that I checked in with you, um, but we got that really exciting delivery, the rug. I am a little bit nervous because buying things solely online can be really tricky because the color of your monitor and everything can kind of play a factor in how you perceive the colors. Now that we have the curtains in place and I have, I'm done <laughs> buying and returning and buying and returning because this was, this was a little bit tricky. It took me a couple times. Now we are moving on to a rug that I think is going to match. And then I still have to figure out if we're going to do, I think we're going to do a new coffee table. I just don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let's get this rug um, unfolded and laid out. We have enough light, I think, even though it's a super dreary overcast day, I think we have just enough light to kind of see what it's gonna look like next to the curtains because I'm not gonna go to the trouble of like moving the couch around and stuff and actually putting it underneath unless I'm pretty confident that the colors are gonna work. So let's do that. looks shimmery. Wait, what the heck? Am I mad about that? I don't know. I think the camera is doing a decent job of picking up the colors accurately, but is it just me or are there like sparkles? Do you guys see that? I think it's just lighter colored, lighter colored threads. It looks like glittery. I like it. I think it's neutral enough. Um, it's not crate like there's color obviously, but it's not like bright really. I don't think it's gonna clash with our curtains. I think I've gone neutral enough that we'll be fine. Let's see what it looks like under the couch. I 
I haven't decided yet if it's gonna go long ways, that way, like the, the way that would match the, the length of the room, or if we're gonna do it long ways that matches the couch, because the couch is longer this way, but the room is longer that way. So I might have to try it both ways, and I do get to do it by myself because boyfriend is at work, and I'm definitely too impatient when something fun like this arrives to wait for help. Hopefully I don't have to do much lifting of the couch because it's in two pieces, but it is kind of bulky. Pretty! I like it. I'm pretty pleased with it. I don't know enough about rugs to tell you the style or really anything about it other than the colors that are in it, so I will link it. Um, it's from Wayfair. So do we do do we keep it like this? Or are you supposed to, because the room is longer towards the back, are you supposed to turn, is there like rug etiquette? I don't know. Okay, I'm momentarily phone vlogging because the camera died, but I managed to get it where I want it. To get rid of the curl, I'm just using some of boyfriend's weights. So hopefully by the time he gets home later today, some of these curls will be flat. So I knew I needed to cover up these ugly boob lights in, <laughs> I have one actually in the bedroom that I think you guys probably already saw in the bedroom makeover video, but I ordered a second one. This is the drum shade from Tulip. Um, they were the first company that came up when I was searching for like renter friendly light covers. Super easy to install. I only needed the command strips. Um, they do come with like drywall screws. I ended up not needing those at all because it felt really sturdy. But yeah, the directions are super simple. You just scan it with um, your phone. There's a QR code. You literally just like stick the frame to the ceiling around the light and then the shade itself kind of snaps in with magnets. One of the easiest things I've ever done. And I really like the way it turned out because it just gives it a totally different vibe. I quite like that. It's much brighter. So let's do the other one over here. Hello again. Little update on the gallery wall. So as you can see, we still have just the um, washi tape up on the wall. We aren't gonna do anything smaller than an 8x10. I think an 8x10 is much too small. Um, I want to keep the scale kind of big because, and I'll put in some inspo photos, um, I want to keep the scale kind of big to kind of match the size of the TV. Those are my favorite kinds of inspo pictures or my favorite kinds of gallery walls when I see those pictures where everything is big. So I have my first frame and my first photo. I've done some ordering, but it is gonna be a couple of weeks, I think, unfortunately, before some of the other stuff actually arrives. And I'm still kind of undecided. I don't know, <laughs> it's been um, kind of tricky because I just, it's something that we're gonna look up and see every single day. So I wanna make sure it's stuff that we really like. So this frame I actually picked up from Target. So it's a 14 by 18 frame, which I thought was kind of cool because that's, I feel like not really like a typical size that you see, um, but it's just like a warm wood tone and then it's matted to an 11 by 14. For the photo, Since this rug came, um, there's a tiny bit of blue in it that I actually didn't realize was in it from the photo online. So now it's been interesting figuring out how I'm gonna kind of keep the blue kind of as like a little accent color. So one small way that I'm gonna do that is with the photo that I decided to put in here. So, so this is a photo that I took in Georgia. It was on Driftwood Beach on Jekyll Island. Um, there was just this bird 
I just happened to catch him as he was taking flight. And this is the beach that we would end up riding horses on like the next day. So it's all in the Georgia vlog if you guys are interested, but this photo naturally has blue in it, obviously because of the sky. And I think it looks really good in this frame. So now let's hang it. Then something I saw online that as soon as I saw them, I had to have them, um, were these uh, stone washed pillowcases from our house. Um, I've never shopped from them before because they are like kind of a bougier brand. But something I realized with our couch was that it's just all, it's very big. It's like a nine foot long um, chofa, like with the, the couch and the, the chase on the end. And there's six big pillows across it. And it's just so, because we have like the beige colored one, it's just kind of a big beige blob. Um, and so I wanted to add just a little pop of color that was still really kind of muted. So I ended up getting a blue kind of ochre colored and then an olivey green pillowcases. So every other pillow is like just a subtle pop of color. Um, but I do think it adds something, but that's still really kind of like soft and doesn't scream at you. So we have eight foot ceilings and seven, seven feet would be almost to the ceiling. Six feet is about where the hanging plant is right now. I'm thinking it needs to be taller than that, like taller than where the hanging plant is. So I was thinking more like seven feet. I think in my um, like tour, like apartment tour video, I mentioned putting something over in this back corner. So I'm gonna do a little shopping online and we're gonna see if we can find something. I think I did decide to go with something faux. I'm just thinking it makes more sense to put something fake back there because it will last forever. And then I'll just have to remember to like dust it. That's the only thing is like, I know it's gonna get dusty. So I think what I've kind of decided is something between six and seven feet tall, no more than like two feet wide because I don't have a lot of space between the back corner and the door. Um, and I'm thinking it's gonna be an olive tree because that's kind of the way I see like the branches and stuff in my head. I think it needs to be an olive tree. The first one I clicked on was this citrus one, seven feet tall. It's a little bit, maybe even too green. Um, like I'm seeing something more kind of like muted and this one's very green, which obviously it looks like fresh and vibrant and there's nothing wrong with that but it's like a little bit too green maybe is that silly i don't know and then maybe i could pull some of these branches out because i kind of see it sitting in the corner and like curving towards like the paintings on the back wall it's a little expensive all right so i just arrived at world market i did a little pickup order for some i literally ordered the same floor cushions that I've had out there since I had my first apartment because I love them so much. I have a rug coming from Wayfair that I just ordered. So it'll be here hopefully within the next couple of days. And then I also ordered a planter. I'm just waiting in the little pickup area for my floor cushions. A few minutes later. All right, I got the goods. We are heading back home. All right guys, it is time for a little tour of everything that we've done since we moved in in November. Right when you first walk in, we just have a little coat rack situation, um, obviously for like bags and keys and hats and that sort of thing. Something we already had was this little um, entertainment center. It's literally just from Walmart. Um, that's where I found it was just walmart.com. 
and I filled it with all my little knickknacks, a couple of plants, um, we've got some candles on there. I do keep like some incense down below as well um, that I like to burn sometimes. This is actually really cool. Um, this is a deer bone. We were, boyfriend was fishing and I was reading. I always like take a book and sit next to the water wherever he's fishing. Um, and it freaked me out at first because I didn't know if it was like human or not, but we Googled it and we're pretty sure it's from a deer, from like the leg of a deer. Um, and it's like the perfect little incense holder because it has a hole in it. Um, and then this little piece of wood, um, literally just a piece of driftwood, uh, but I thought it was really cool. It's all bleached by the sun. We went to, we were in the, the Oklahoma Panhandle just like last week um, as part of a vacation on the way to New Mexico. Anyway. Again, he was fishing and I was on the beach and I just thought this piece of wood looked kind of cool. So I might hang something on it, but for now I'm literally just gonna put it on the entertainment center as just a piece to lay there and look kind of cool. Um, and then up here we just have a couple of frames that I randomly purchased from different places um, and then some photos. The two over on the side um, I took in Georgia when we were there last summer. So this is Driftwood Beach. And then this, I can never remember um, what it's called. If I can find the information for it, I'll put it in the description box. Uh, but it's just a cool painting. I liked the blue and the green. It's very, you know, obviously kind of like nature vibes. And then sort of, I mean, right when you walk in, this is what you see, um, which is our gorgeous giant ribbed like corduroy couch. Um, it is from a local furniture store um, in downtown, but I will link some dupes online that I actually almost purchased, but I really wanted to make sure that I was getting something that we could see in person. So in the store, we ended up sitting on like a black one, um, but ordering this one instead. Um, originally, it came with the six pillows in the same material as the actual couch. These pillowcases um, are from our house. They're just like the stone washed kind. So you can, it's like, a very subtle little pop of color. I really love the curtains. I know green curtains are kind of an odd choice maybe. In some lights they actually look more brown and then as the sun will start to set later they'll get more of like a yellowy brown. Um, so they're kind of a, a chameleon color so I do actually really like them. And then I think the tie top is really cute as well. I actually thrifted this um, from a local like consignment furniture store um, when we moved into our first apartment and it was just I don't actually have any before footage to show you but it was just very kind of beaten up it had some fairly deep or what looked like fairly deep um, kind of like scratches in it and I took it to my dad he like sanded it all down and then he put um, a nice new coat of shiny on it uh, polyurethane I believe and then this rug I am quite obsessed with the rug but it's really fun it's got a lot of colors in it. it it mainly attracted me for like the green it has like some orangey tones and then there's like a powder blue and some darker colors as well that I honestly couldn't really tell where it was in there when I bought it offline. It just more looked kind of like an orange and green, but it's kind of fun. There's like random little flecks of color in there that I can see sometimes. Over here on this wall, um, we just have a little Native American tribes of like North America print. That's really cool. We picked it up when we were in Eureka Springs. There's a shop there. I forget what it's called. Somebody literally um, like drew the United States with all of the tribes. It's just so cool. I love it. We had it framed at one point in time. I didn't love the frame that it was in. So I just bought this little like poster hanging kit thing off Amazon. The bookshelf I believe is from World Market. I got it um, again when we moved into our first apartment, the one bedroom like two years ago, whenever it was. I am outgrowing it, but I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna keep it for a while. And then back here we have some Native American art. I can link in the description box. It's kind of a play on like famous American art. This is like American Gothic, but Native American Gothic. And then instead of the girl with the pearl earring, we have the girl with the turquoise earring. And then this little carved wooden feather is from the same trading post that we got the little bowl from that sits on the coffee table. And then this entire back corner was just very, very empty. I've had like a plant hanging from the ceiling there before and different things, but I really wanted to try to bring some sort of green inside, even though I knew that we couldn't actually put a real tree in here. It's way too dark 
for a real tree to grow. We have this fake olive tree. I think it's literally from Amazon. I like that you can kind of like shape the branches. I tried to kind of put some of them sort of leaning in to the bookshelves. Um, and then the pot we have it in is just from World Market. I did put actual dirt and moss in it in an attempt to make it look slightly more real. And then really the last thing that I did, I knew I couldn't hardwire any lights in, but again, speaking about light, this is like the most light that comes into the apartment at all at any point in the day um, because we only have windows on this side of the apartment. So anyway, at night it gets pretty dark and I think these are just from Wayfair. We always have them on like the lower warm cozy setting, um, but they do have like three different options, which I thought was really cool. They're literally just kind of like drilled into the wall and then they obviously plug in. So if you're renting and you can't hardwire a light, those are a nice kind of temporary option. All right, that is it. That is the tour. That's every little thing that we did. Nothing major, but it definitely makes it feel more cozy and more like home. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.